Oh dear, it seems like I've gotten myself a new machine again. I wonder what this could be. Hmm, doesn't really seem like it's much. Or is it? <laughs> I've already shown you that, so you can tell what this is. This is the fastest spinning washing machine currently available in the United Kingdom for sale right now. And it probably will be for a hell of a lot longer. This is the ASCO W6098 finished in stainless steel. Quite literally one of the most gorgeous washing machines I've ever laid my goddamn mitts on. Well, I've ever laid my goddamn eyes on. Shut the fuck up, hold my dishwasher. It has hot and cold connectors. There's an extra hose here for it. There's a blanking cap there. I'm gonna take the transit bolts out. So, yeah. Let's get to it. I already, I've already powered this on, just to make sure that I don't have any issues in there because <laughs> obviously you power a machine on before you actually put it in a spot well i do at least i don't know about many other people but i do most certainly so i have spanners there that don't fit and i have one here that i think does fit so we'll see yeah that's fits perfectly so i will go ahead and spin this thing around and i'll see you in a minute okay so now having spun this machine around you can see everything around the back. Blanking caps here for, I'm not too sure what, I'm gonna have to guess external dosing for the professional machines, because I think they use the same cabinet and the same piece here for the commercial machines. This is just water staining from when I undid the blanking cap earlier. Um, so yeah, this is good. Time to get a spare and undo the transit bolts. I'm sorry this isn't on a tripod, I just, yeah, I just don't really, I, want, I don't want the hassle of having to set up a tripod just for a short amount of time like this. So, this is pretty good still. I'll tell you what, actually. Maybe what Chris has done from the laundry centre, I'm going to take everything off. So I can get access to the other two of So, take away the drain hose entirely. We're not actually going to just feed this back into the drawer. Whatever. So, uh, Right, now I have more problems getting this one out, but it doesn't really matter. I don't have that much of an issue. I don't really care, it's just however I set this up. And I'm not taking, I'm not having like 5,000 different takes and edits and annoyances of having to get this all perfect. This is essentially all in one video and I'm only doing this once. So, there you go. And we will have a very nice, system by the end of this that will be fully functional. I'm going to stick the spanner on the end like that and see if I can spin it. This is that kind of works for a split second. Oh my god. Yeah. I kind of wish I could have grabbed a 15mm ratchet and 15mm socket on the ratchet on this but oh well. I suppose So, that's my mum home, oh my sister, there they are. Hello. Hello dear. Are you happy? I'm doing this all in one take. Are you Taking, happy? Yeah, very happy. Taking all the transit bolts out. No damage to the actual machine? Uh, the top panel decided to come away, but uh, when they got it in the car, and there was like this argument of, I can't be asked to get this machine in the car, can someone else do it, apparently, according to dad. Oh. Yeah, like they just, no one wanted to take it out. I think I leave those in. I, I think I just. I have no idea. Do I leave those in or do I? Go in? Yeah, you do. You pull them out and then there's a there's a blanking cap on the end of there, so I've got the other two still. Does it come with 
Uh, yeah, it's come with two hoses. They're like Asco's own hoses as well. Like mm -hmm. completely different material. They're like a plastic kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like white hoses as well. I'm not on my jack, I'm just filming. And that's why I said I'm doing this all in one take. How's your day been anyway? My day's been excellent. Went to Costco and had this in the back of the car the whole time, so I'm fine. Go out, uh, went to Costco for pizza, you remember? You went to what? Costco for pizza. Yeah, I really did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, no, the damp but the maiden nearly collapsed. Like, it was going to, so I just decided to abandon it. Move it to lean against the wall. No, it was beyond that, even. Like, it was, it was literally sliding down off the radiator and, like, going to collapse imminently within the like, Three seconds had I not actually gone ahead and caught it and everything else. Take a look at these transit bolts, though. they're significantly different. They actually have fine threads on them, so you can mm -hmm. tell that it's going into metal, not into plastic or anything silly. Yep. So they're very serious with these. Obviously, um, they've had a lot of problems with the ones that are branded as other brands and they're like commercial or meant to be. Apparently, according to a lot of Apparently, according to Chris, they're not actually built for that, and I, to be honest, I don't blame him, because they're more, more for domestic. <laughs> so, final transit box, you can get removed. I like doing this all in one take. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. I can't really see if there's a logo on that bolt. I'll check the others in a minute. I get that I'm doing this with a spanner, but to be honest, I don't really care. Like, someone just bite my head off in the comments, I really don't mind. Because, yeah, criticism. There you are. Uh, I'm not really too sure on that one. It looks to be a bit of a marking on it, like a brand of some kind. But I don't really know. So, um, the Quattro system is now completely freed, I am going to guess. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this machine is moving on this floor, seeing as how, obviously, you know, it's a kitchen floor. So, that's the end of that. And now I'm just going to basically move it into there so again i will be back in a roundabout um un minuto uno minuto or whatever one minute <laughs> cinq minutes i know oh my that means one in french i said five yeah i said five minutes whoops yeah i'll be back in a minute okay so now that we are in the utility room, I'm going to take off this blanket cap for the hot water connection. There we go. There's got a bit of water in it. Not really too sure why. Uh, I don't really know. Um, that's that. Time to do the hoses. So I'll do the, I'll, obviously I'll do them separately so that I don't get confused. Also everyone else doesn't get confused. So I'll do the hot connection first. It's going to be a little bit difficult filming with one hand, but we have to pay without getting the vintage Right, actually I'll put it into there. So I think I'll just have to do it like this. And that appears like it's working, but I think it's more like it's cross-threading. I don't really like these hoses. And I haven't plumbed this in yet, and this is my first and only asker. In fact, give me a moment. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I had to bend that one a little bit to get it in. 
I'm to like flex it slightly, but that's okay. I'll put the rain hose back in there now. And probably the hot water hose, but I'll do the cold one before I do that. So I'll go ahead and put the cold one on. And then I'll push the machine in and plug it in this way. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so with that cold hose on, I can now proceed. So, the connections are going to be cold water there and hot water just in there, which I'll have to move out this W1 for. Yeah, this is before the filming of Two Washers, One Room, of course. Can't remember what episode it'll be, but obviously I'll have to do it. I'll have to figure it out in the title and everything. So that's that. It's a blanket cap. So yeah, I'll pull the W1 out and then I'll get back to you. Just a minute. Okay, so I've now moved the W1. And now it is time to move this beast into place. I keep stepping on my hoses. Um, oops. Oh, there you guys are more to see. Don't matter. It's dry anyway. Had a lot of things from Costco today. Oh, with my dad, and that's a very nice pizza. I recommend that uh, those who haven't been to Costco and intend to, well, if you have a membership and you've just never been, or you don't have a membership and, you ever, and you've never been, sign up for one and fucking go, because you can get a lot of stuff for cheaper. I didn't get this off of Costco, but I got this from a store in Halifax called Direct Discounts, who I recommend quite, <laughs> quite, uh, quite a bit. I've not got a machine from there, but yeah, I definitely recommend these guys. They got it to me pretty quickly because it was out of stock um, from them. So I paid a little bit more for this since it wasn't in their stock list, but I've got it. It's amazing. This is going to be incredible. So I will start a drum clean, but this, that won't be on video. I'm only installing it for this, but once you've installed one of these or virtually any other machine, run a hot wash before you actually do any washing in it because it has products from the factory, manufacturing oils and things all over the parts inside that yeah can get on your clothes and stain them and things. So, well, it'd be very preferable if you just went ahead and ran a hot wash if you've got a new machine. Um, but even if you get a new one, even, even if you get a used machine, still do the same thing even if the, even if the claim is clean. So, I do wish that hot dishwasher would shush because it is annoying. It can't seem to clean anything. Well, it, didn't be a, it wasn't able to clean anything particularly well for quite a while until we actually decided to get some rinse aid recently. So, that's all that has actually gone ahead and got it into better shape, I think. A bit of rinse aid. It's still shit because it still just cannot wash or rinse for its life, really. So that's the hoses there. I'm going to grab the drain hose so I don't accidentally crush it or anything. Because it's a new Asco and I don't want to be replacing a drain hose on a brand new old Asco that I haven't even plumbed in properly yet. I switched it on to check that it was functional. I'm guessing they did that in the warehouse anyway, no doubt they would have sold it to me, I guess, but still. So, I'm gonna keep hold of this drain hose while I move this beast of a machine in. Ah, a little bit of an issue, maybe one's sticking out a little bit more than I anticipated. So I'm just gonna move it over here. And also I'm gonna level it up on the back. I think it's forward. Not sticking out sideways because that's what I don't want. As you can see, the ASCO is over the cupboard here. So I'm just shift back into place. So now all I have to do is kind of vault myself over. I should really have come over the other side. I'll bring any weight on that steel top. It's gorgeous. Um I come over here. Oh, brilliant! The one thing you forget. Oh, I wonder what. I wonder what that is. That grey thing over there. It's the exact thing I need for this drain hose. It's the. It's the actual. 
U-Bend connector or whatever it is, the um, the thing that actually helps you make a U-Bend in the hose. Oh dear. Oh well, yeah, wait a minute. So essentially now I have to play the game. Which one is it? And this is hot, that's cold. This is the hot hose that's going down under the W1 nearly. So I'll pick up the hot hose and connect it to the hot water supply. Oh God, it's not even, it doesn't really have the link for it yet. And I'm standing here. Oh dear, I'm really crushed. Wait a minute. I'm not stopping the video. I still have to pull it. Ow, fingers. Very nice. Crush them against the wooden boiler. Got a wash the wash boiler in there. It's reasonable, but it keeps tripping. It trips itself out all the time. Still, doesn't really matter. It's kerosene, if anyone's wondering. I'll just have to end the video now and connect them up. Because I'm going to have to get a little jiggery fuckery in here so one minute please right hot water's there cold water's there and it loops all the way over here and all this fucking shite but it's on it's on wouldn't have so now i'm gonna have to get myself out of here to push it back and also to go grab the bendy thingy for the drain hose. I don't really know what the hell you call it. I can't remember, but I'm going to call it a bendy thingy, because why not? It bends the thing over. Like me, I'm gay. <laughs> it's true, I am. Obviously, I have a boyfriend, Jack, born July 1400. <sighs> right, so we have this now. Let me do this. Oh, a sock. There is a nice sock down there. There we go. Gotcha. Right. Now, this is my nice drain hose here. Now, we're going to put it there. Sweary time. Just kidding. Well, most likely. So. There we go. It works. Right then, that's our thing. In there. Hot water test. Please work. As you can, you can hear that hot water pump now. There was air bubbles rising. Looks good. And now we have the cup. Hang on. Gasket check on these. Yeah, we're good. And now we have the cold water. Yeah, these are these are really cool because you can actually see the water go places. Watch this water line, and it'll go over, and then it'll all drop down here to the bottom. Watch this. A bit of physics, folks. Drops down. I don't know if you can see it. I oh, will. Lower my brain. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I can. It's only filling. I'll fill that up a bit quicker so that it reaches it faster. Nice. I think that's going to be as far as we'll get. And fully open for the pressure, so. Oh, a bit blinding. So, cold water check. We are good to go. So, now all I have to do is push this piece back. Easy enough. And also, I have to push the W1 back because, yep, it's W1. You have to move it. Ooh. So, that's in. It won't be level, I don't think. It doesn't seem it. At least. Don't it might be. It doesn't really seem it. Right, that's that. So now I will leg press the new one in because I really can't be bothered. 
And if you know me, I can leg press machines back in. It's easy, you just need legs, which I have. And there we go. One Ask OW 6098. All plugged in. Now then. Time to watch this magical little moment. If I can find the button. A. Asco. <laughs> it's fine by Scandinavia. And there we go. Gorgeous. Watch when I open the door. Drum lighting. Mmm. Integrated. In the door. Very impressive. And the Quattro system. Seems very sturdy to me. So far. I haven't used it yet, of course. Steel, steel. Steel, steel, yes. Steel, steel door. Which is Asco's patented design. Yeah, it's basically just a commercial. It's basically just a commercial washer's door seal, essentially. And there's W1, which has washed dark items earlier. And then you'll listen to the gorgeous sound. Now, this is on Mythology 101's channel. But I think I'll be filming more in depth rather than just sitting a camera in front of an ASCO and starting it. I'll be filming the whole thing up close. So, we have a lot of programs to choose from, which is Universal Wash, Cotton Z, Go 4060, Mixed Synthetics, Wall Hand Wash, Dark Wash, Time Program, Auto, Quick, Heavy, Easy Care, oh god, Jeans. Shirts, steam refresh, quick pro, hygiene, sportswear, bedding, stain program, conditioning, allergy cotton, allergy synthetics, rinse, spin, drain, drum cleaning, and we also have settings, which I suppose I deal with a bit. You have the option for child lock, which I'm not going for. Language. And we have temperature unit, which in this case is set to Celsius, or I can add Fahrenheit, I can do Fahrenheit. Um, auto, set auto dose, I'm not too sure what that will do, but I'll have to look in the manual. Set water hardness, because I've already put this machine on, I've set it to hard, because we actually have hard water. Sound settings, ooh. Yeah, we can do it with the sound. <laughs> I'll do it the loudest for now. Uh, drum illumination settings, basically it's just on or off. You don't have any option for colour. I kind of wish it did. That'd be fun, having like purple drum lighting or something. Just to make it look extremely homosexual, because why not? Um, I'm not sure what that is. Display settings. Oh, we have logo. Okay. Brightness. Maximum brightness. That's what I always want with these. I always want max brightness. Customize programs. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we have a lot of things now. Nice. Um, and then we have reset to default, which I'm not doing. That's that. So, dose modes. Mm. Huh. Options. Okay. Set to normal. Right. So that's the end of that. Thank you for watching, and I will see you folks. Well, you'll have already seen this, so in, well, you'll have already seen two washers, one room by the time I release this. So, in the next video, motherfuckers. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna run the first cycle, which is drum clean. I shall see you folks in a while. Bye-bye for now.